Hi guys, um, it's Sunday. It's kind of a crappy day outside. Um, I was going to do something with my dolls today, but my daughter came down with what my son and I had. and She's one of those kids that she doesn't get sick, do sick often, and when she does, she crashes hard. So she was up most of the night. She's sleeping right now. And I was up all, most of the night last night with her. Um, I did do a box opening video with this stuff, but I accidentally deleted it off after I got it uploaded and everything. So I'm just going to go over what was in the box because I had already deleted it off my card by the time everything had processed on YouTube. Um, this was a Tupperware box opening. Um, as you know, I'm a Tupperware consultant. I'll put the links the link below. Um, these were some of my newest goodies that I purchased. Um, I'll do this one last just because it goes with the piece that I already have. It's sitting right next to me. I don't want to screw around with that. Um, Got to grab the sheet that has the names of everything. I first of all got... It is the fridge stackables set. Um, this is current and I've been catalog and it just popped out. Okay. I got this. It's the fridge stackable set. Uh, is it going to stay? Okay. It is a 3P or a three section container. You can put like meats, cheeses, tomatoes, like stuff to make sandwiches. That is what I bought this for. My husband wants to start making more sandwiches to take to work. And so I purchased this to kind of organize our fridge better. Um, and obviously the lid. So there is two sections like this size. So this would be good like if you wanted to slice some tomatoes to put in there and put in your fridge or um, sliced cheeses that you get in the deli. And then there is a bigger compartment. And then there is also this insert that just goes in the bottom. So like, you know, sometimes um, some of the meats have some juices that kind of run off. And some people don't like their meat sitting in those juices, but it keeps the meat juicy if you don't drain them off. So that's what that is for. Uh, where are the other two things that go with it? Um, there's also this. It's a spreader. And it's serrated so it can be used as a knife. Um, I like these better than like um, butter knives. Because like when you're getting mayo or mustard out of a jar... Sometimes a uh, butter knife, it, it clump, you, it's like a balancing act. So this is like a bigger surface. So this could make, or this makes sandwiches easier. Peanut butter, this is perfect for. Because I know for me, you never get enough peanut butter on your uh, knife. So you're always dipping back in there. And then there's also the matching cutting board. For this set um, I honestly do not remember prices off of the top of my head of the invoices that they send us I guess I haven't seen a customer invoice I've only seen the consultant invoice and the prices aren't put on there so I really don't even remember how much I paid for what's all in here I just know that that's current in the new catalog um, this I was excited for. This is our micro pressure cooker. Uh, this is the lock. Uh, let's see if I can do this one handed, which I'm going to probably bet no. Okay. This is the lock. I tried to use it as a handle. Oh, maybe I can do this one handed and slide the lid off. And there we go. It's open on. I have lots of recipe cards for our micro, this is our micro pressure cooker. We also have a micro pro grill 
it, it's a little on the spendy side. I absolutely love, 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 love that thing. I'll probably make some videos with it. Um, that is probably my all-time favorite Tupperware item ever. Just because living in Texas, it gets really hot in the summer. And I can make stuff in that in my microwave in less time and not creating heat like the oven would. Um, an example is my, um, I absolutely love cream cheese wontons, my favorite thing ever. I found some at Giant Panda, I think it's Panda Express, that's what it is. Giant Panda is a Chinese place um, where I used, or from my hometown where it used to be a Chinese place there. Um, Panda Express. The Panda Express down here, their cream cheese wontons are eh. And I have to watch what Chinese places I eat at because of um, my shellfish allergy. And a lot of them mix their cream cheese wontons with their snapdragons, which are crab wontons. Um, I had eaten at a Chinese buffet and they must have got them mixed up. Thank God my friend took a bite out of hers before I took a bite out of mine. Because she's like, wait a minute, this isn't a cream cheese wonton. This is, and then grabbed mine. So, um, but the micro grill, there's some frozen ones I can buy at Walmart. That it would take about 20 minutes to preheat my oven to cook them. And then it was another 15 minutes in the oven. So, we're looking at 45 minutes of my oven being on, just for a snack, for these cream cheese wontons. And, um, in my Micro Pro Grill, I'm able to make them in my microwave in 8 minutes. Literally, you put them in 4 minutes, take them out, flip them over, put them back in for 4 minutes, and they're done. And they're actually crispier than coming out of the oven. So I love, 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 love that thing because it's going to be quicker. Well, a lot of our micro stuff because I have the micro pro grill. I now have the pressure cooker. I also have our stack cooker and our um, micro steamer. All of those things are to be used in the microwave. The stack cooker, you can make a cake in it with just a box cake mix and a can of soda. And I think, excuse me, I believe it's eight minutes um, our stack cooker in less than 10 minutes I can make hard-boiled eggs in it I mean that's just how great these items are um, I do also have recipe cards if anybody purchases them and is interested in recipes from our different um, items I have recipe cards for all of them um, there's a group that I'm in for Tupperware consultants that we kind of pool recipes together. And one of the ladies was kind enough to make a PDF file of all the recipes that have been compiled last year. And she's starting on this year as well. So that makes it really nice. Um, I think these are those. Oh, those are the fridge mart. And the, see, here is that one. It's the micro pressure cooker instructions. There's a picture of it. Um, this is our breakfast, micro breakfast maker. Love this thing. Um, I ordered a second one. We already have one. Um, it comes with these two egg inserts that you can make poached eggs or over easy eggs. Um, my daughter who absolutely hates eggs will actually eat eggs out of this. And then there is this part that you can make an omelet in in less than a minute in your microwave. Um, another good microwaving thing. This also, I have seen people make, um, cinnamon rolls. And I mean, there's multiple other uses for this than just eggs and breakfast things. The nice thing too with the cups is it makes them perfect size for like, if you're going to put them on, um, what are those? English muffins. Like make like, uh breakfast sandwich great size for those um i will be right back my battery is about to die okay and i'm back sorry about that i didn't realize my battery is about to die um 
but yeah, our little breakfast maker guy, he's great. Um, I also have some recipe cards for different ideas for him, for it, I should say, not necessarily him. Um, that is actually currently on sale. I want to say it's like 18 or $19. I had one that I got with my um, welcome or my consultant kit. I purchased a second one and I am seriously considering purchasing a third just because I love this thing so freaking much. Um, my best friend um, hosted a party and received one last year as um, a thank you gift for her party or as one of her free items that's what it was um, if you host a party and you get hundred and seventy five dollars in sales um, there's four items to choose from and that was what she chose was the breakfast maker and when I told her that they were on sale she's like oh my god I need to order at least three more she goes I'm really thinking four more um, she is a mom to four boys. Um, three of them are teenagers. And making like omelets and breakfast stuff with eggs. Like she usually goes through a dozen and a half to two dozen eggs making breakfast for her boys. She said that thing is phenomenal. She goes, first of all, I'm getting my boys involved in the cooking. Because when they make the omelets... Um, basically it's, you take the egg, you put it in another bowl, you crack it, you can add your cheese, you can add your meats, you can add your peppers, you can add whatever else you want to and put it in here. And she goes, first of all, my boys are able to make their own omelets without me making them. Second of all, she goes, it's, one of her sons does not like the omelets, he likes the eggs. Um, and you don't have to use both inserts at once, but you need to you you can't make an omelet and use the insert at the same time. Um, but she said that her boys love this. They love being able to make their own items. And you can kind of see on the bottom, uh, when you make the omelets, there's a two egg minimum, four egg maximum. And it's basically you mix up your eggs and your items in one bowl and you pour it in. And then it's a 900 watt max capacity for no more than five minutes. Oh, we can get the glare. Uh, my microwave is one, uh, 1,100. Um, I just usually kick the power down to mine to 80% and I've never had an issue with any of it. Most Tupperware products are for um, 900 watt microwaves since that's what an average home happens to have. I just kick mine down to 80% and I've never had an issue which I think comes out to like, I think I figured out was like 88% or 88 watts. But still making this stuff in the microwave is A, I'm not creating heat in my home when it's hot. B, it's taking a lot less time and energy in the microwave than it does with the oven or stove. Um, like, for my family, I can make omelets. Like I said, I bought a second one of these, but I'm really thinking of buying two more just because um, that each one of us can have one. A set, and, you know, I can be making mine, mixing mine up and getting it ready to go while my husband's is in the microwave. My son and we can be helping our son and daughter. We can have them all ready to go and just start throwing them in the microwave and as we're mixing up the next ones. Um, since it it honestly takes more time to mix them up than it does the microwave part, to tell you the truth. Love those, one of my favorite items. Um, the other thing I got were these mini shakers. Um, I believe these are a gift, a mini spice shaker set. Um, I believe these are also a gift or one of your options currently in their current catalog. Um, if you do $125 or $175 in sales, um, I have the bigger version. You stack two of these together and you've got the large size and I can get it open. It's like one size is completely open and the other side is the shaker part. These keep spices, they're airtight. 
so they keep spices fresher than um, like even sometimes the spice containers so those come in a set of four so I got four of them because I, I'm slowly changing out all of our spices and stuff because like right here you can put the label on it um, right now in my cupboard our spices are just horribly thrown in mixed up there's no rhyme or reason to it and like if you're trying to grab one you're knocking over ten more so I just figured something like this would be so much nicer to organize my pantry I'm slowly doing that as well as I'm slowly working on buying modular mates to organize the rest of my pantry um, this box is what my pressure cooker came in so that's what anybody's wondering what that is I just put that in the bottom after the last video um, and I got there's a piece of my daughter's hair um, I also ordered a set of uh, not want to come apart no size that size doesn't um, get these up there. there we go um, a big set of our fridge mates fridge smarts um, I've got I'll use the big guy there's this big one and then there is this size. I already have one of this size. And then I got these small but deep ones. They're smaller size. And then these are the ones that I previously had. Just thought I'd bring them out to show you other size. Um, and then there's this size. Um, so there. And then there is also. These are the smalls. And then I want to say that is the medium. This is the large, and we do also have an extra large one. I personally don't have the extra large one, although next time it comes up for sale, I will be purchasing it. Um, these sizes, uh, this size is point, I don't know if you can see it. There you go. Point eight liters. Um, let's see what that one is. Focus in on it. I don't think it will. This one is 1.8. This one is 1.8 is also. So this is the same size as this one over here. It's just flat. So like this would be nice for like um, full size carrots, celery, um, green onions, leeks, asparagus. This is more like for longer like whole cucumbers that aren't cut up I told you I had I already had purchased one of those and then um, this one right is 4.4 now these things are fantastic they keep fruits and vegetables in your fridge longer than just even the food fruit fruit and veggie crispers that come with your fridge Honestly, in my fridge, those have just become um, storage spots. Um, one holds like tortillas and um, I can't even think like Pillsbury pop container, those pop tube type pastries and like rolls and stuff. Um, and the other one we have pretty much just dumped all of our kids juice boxes in um, my up one of my up oh, how do I what I can't even think she is a director I don't even remember one of my uplines I just remember that had made a comment that when they sold their house because she uses all these for her fruits and veggies, she actually took her crisper drawers out of her fridge to make more room in her fridge for these. Um, and when they sold the house, she almost had a panic attack until her husband found the drawers in the garage. Because she couldn't remember where she put them. Um, I just use my drawers for other items. Um, these pretty much all go on my top shelf. Um... And, like, it shows right on here exactly what can go in and what setting. Uh, let's see. i got a lid right here, and hopefully it'll focus. Um, you can kind of see right underneath this little white slider, there is a half setting right here. This is the half. This is the hole. And this is the open. 
and underneath there you can see it just slides over and this little guy knows exactly what um, amount of ventilation each yeah you can see it's got some dishwasher soap still in it just came out of the dishwasher um what setting the vent needs to be for air like for the fruits and veggies air wise um like here um in the half setting you can put it looks like um green onions leeks cauliflower i'm honestly not sure what that is cabbage lettuce uh red chilies green bean i think those are green beans yeah those ones are green beans because the peas are over there and I believe that's parsley. Um, the directions do also list each thing. So if you're not quite sure on pictures. Um, then also for vegetables. You've got our fruits. You've got rhubarb. Lemons. Pears. Oranges and apples can all go on this half setting. Um, I know people use the extra large ones for apples and oranges. And the thing is, these can all be mixed together. So say for instance, you have this big container and you've got two apples and three lemons. You can put them both in this one together. As long as they're all on the same, they're on the same setting and they're a fruit or veggie, they can live in this container together. They will be happy in this container together. But they will not be happy if say you put some lettuce, and some celery in the same one together. Th those two cannot live together. Or an apple and lettuce together. Those two cannot live together. They need to be in the boxes together, from what I've been told. So as you can see, um, and then here is the whole setting. Veggies, there is nothing that can be in the open, or fruits, can. there's nothing that can be in the open setting. Here's the veggies that can be in the open setting. And these are the items that cannot go in it. So like an eggplant. I can't remember. I want to. I'm not exactly sure what that fruit. Veggie, excuse me, was. And a tomato cannot go in there. And then a peach, plum, banana, and kiwi cannot go in. But these are great. Um, my son loves baby carrots. And he goes through kicks where he'll, that's all he wants to eat for a week. And then the next week, he doesn't want to touch them. And it gets expensive buying the smaller bags like that. So I just buy the biggest bag of baby carrots I can buy. Well, actually, I was buying the smaller ones because all I had was this. But now I can buy the bigger ones because I have the big, the deeper ones. Um, We're putting them in here. And over the span it went almost three weeks where he didn't want carrots that was the longest he had gone they sat in my fridge for three weeks not being touched not being open and then when he went and opened them up they were still good they were still fresh um my daughter loves broccoli so i had broccoli in another one um and then once again she went for a while or she didn't want to actually eat the broccoli and about two weeks later I remembered the broccoli was in the fridge so I went to grab it thinking uh great now then I remembered I had put it in my fridge smart and I opened that broccoli up and it was still as fresh as the day I'm sorry wrong finger fresh as the day as that I put it in so um these are well worth the investment you know if you're you buy vegetables and fruits, but you're not sure exactly how long you're going to eat them. If you're not going to eat them within the next couple of days, but you know you're going to want to eat them, or you know buying things in bulk, great thing. Um, the other thing, um, like those those bag salads, um, my daughter goes through kicks where she lots loves to eat salad. And we just buy the one that's just lettuce, so we can put it in here since it's just lettuce. Um, but those things go bad so quickly. Like, you open the bag up, and if you don't eat that whole salad bag within a day, you might as well just throw the bag away. I've had one up to two weeks in one of these. 
So, and being I can't eat lettuce, my husband and son will eat it like in a taco or something, but they're not big salad people. So, she's pretty much the only one that will eat or can eat or will eat salad. So, these are really nice. Um, they're not too expensive. Um, if you, and I, I know a lot of people, their biggest thing is how Tupperware can sometimes be expensive. Even as a consultant, I sometimes can feel that, but I space things out. So, um, if I have a little extra money, I might buy, like, usually I typically don't buy a box of stuff this big. Um, I've been getting, like, my last haul, or it's just smaller items. Um, the biggest thing was our steam cooker was on sale last month. So this was my order from last month. And like this set of fridge smarts was on sale last month. If you purchased over a certain amount of money, which I did just by my steam cooker. Or not my steam cooker, my pressure cooker. So I was able to get these um, for a good price. Otherwise, I probably would just be doing what I'm doing, buying one every so many months. Um, so, and this is all of the ones I have. I want to get another big one of these. Yes, I'm OCD and I have to have things in twos, if you can't tell. Um, and on to the last thing. It is my, you can see it down there, kind of threw it on the bottom. It is a Power Chef Whip Accessory. Okay, I already have a Power Chef. It's right here. This is a great, great, great item. And here's the Whip Accessory. The container for my power chef and this is the whip accessory and am i doing it oh, i must be because i don't think it needs to lock in like the other one uh, maybe i need to read the directions um but just kind of like to make mousses and stuff like that just quick whipping um if you want to make your own homemade mayonnaise. Um, I just bought it. I don't know. Honestly, this was one of those. I don't know necessarily what I'm going to use it for, but it might be nice to have. Um, it was on sale. And then um, one nice thing, even if you want to buy Tupperware, but you don't necessarily want to sell it, um, we have in, in the Tupperware world, we have what we call, um, um, personal shoppers. Even if you want to be a personal shopper, I have one lady underneath me that is pretty much just a personal shopper. Um, she joined just to buy stuff for herself and her family. Um, you can't sell the items to other people for a discount, but like I know for Christmas, I gave my mother and all three of my mother-in-law's um, Tupperware gifts that I purchased with my discount. Um, but they're also like you get a you get a pretty good discount, and then there's other sales and stuff that are just for consultants to add things to their kits if they're going to go or for parties or like for personal consult or for personal shoppers you know inexpensive ways to add different things to their own personal stuff um i honestly jumped on board to just be a personal shopper and there's a lot of people that do start out that way <coughs> excuse me because i wanted things like the um pressure cooker the micro pro grill because even though it officially wasn't released, I had been to a few parties where, um, <clears throat> excuse me, when it was starting to debut for consultants, <clears throat> um, I had been to a party. Was it a party? I honestly don't remember how I heard about it, but that, no, that was right after I joined that I found out about that. Um, and that thing got me really interested. Um, the steam cooker. Love that thing because I can steam vegetables in my microwave really quickly. Um, that was a big plus for me. This pressure cooker, the stack cooker, 
the fridge smarts, and then the modular mitts. The mod I I'm kind of trying to focus on one thing at a time. So now that I got a bunch of the fridge smarts, my next goal is going to be modular mates. But anyways, um, the, the Pro Chef comes in our kit. Um, this is actually the blade for it. And it, it's got a cover on the blade because the blade is sharp. Um, I learned that the hard way one day. So you can kind of see the edge of the blade. Um, there's a little hole. There's a hole on the bottom of here. It clips in. Here's the lid. You put the lid on. Box in. I'm going to get it to lock one hand. It probably not. Um, but it's seriously as easy as you just pull this. Yeah, it's, you can see it's not in completely I'm trying to do this. But you just pull this lever. To make the blade turn. Super, super, super easy way to chop stuff. I do have a, um, what are they called? Food processor. This is similar to a food processor. I do have a food processor that I use when I'm doing big jobs like pureeing pumpkin, um, pureeing like on a bigger scale. This is great. Like the other day, I wanted to make a an egg salad sandwich at like, it was 9 o'clock at night. I just had this big thing that I needed, egg salad sandwich. Um, I made my hard-boiled eggs in our steam, our micro steamer. Um, I cracked them, put them in here. I didn't even cut them up. I just shoved them in here. Put my mayonnaise, my mustard, my relish, and my other secret ingredient I had in here. And just start turning. And it chopped up the eggs to how I liked them. And then um, I still just needed to mix a little bit more. So that's where the whip accessory probably will come in nicely. Where it'll more serve whip, mix, than chop everything. But this is a great item. I love this thing when I need to do things on a quick, smaller scale. Um, but that was my box opening. It went a little bit longer than I thought it would. Uh, as I said, I will be putting my link down below to my Tupperware site. If anybody's interested in any of these products or looking at other Tupperware products, we have a bunch of great stuff on sale. Um, even if you go there, you click on shop and then there's going to be a drop down thing and on sale. Um, there'll be a lot of stuff in there that it's from our new flyer. Um, and there's even a lot of great things for kids. My kids have their water bottles and love them. Um, even as much as their classic bowls. So, and then from time to time we do have um, kids size, like the little um, pitchers and cups. My kids, I believe I showed in the tour, in my um, kids playroom tour their abundance of little Tupperware items. Anytime a kid's Tupperware thing comes up, I purchase it. Oh, and then here, there's a little funnel too. Um, I don't have it out right here. So like if you're mixing something and you want to add oil in, you just put the funnel in here. And it, as you can see, there's a little notch and the funnel lines up with that little hole. And that also can be a vent. Um, but, Oh wait, that's just the vent, I think. No, that's the funnel hole. I can see it right there now. And then this does come off. And I can't get it off one-handed. I know that I shouldn't even have tried. And then there's also a smaller version that this part piece fits on. It's a smaller container. And then it's got a shorter, kind of where you can see. I don't know if you can see. Pick it up. Where that little metal line is. Um, there's one that has... The blade is obviously going to be shorter because the container is smaller, but it's about that length in size, and it's just this little tiny one. Um, I know in the catalog they used it, they showed a picture of using it to chop nuts, where it's just something small. So that is one of my next thing. I've got this huge list of wants from Tupperware. That's one thing I do want to get is that... I think this one's the um, Power Chef 
Pro. And that one's the Power Chef Mini. But yeah, they're both. I have a friend with fibromyalgia who's actually um, the lady that signed me up to join Tupperware. And she has, I mean, she can't even really do dishes. Like just wiping dishes off and putting them in the dishwasher. Because she also has a lot of other medical issues like with back. And she can't stand for long periods of time. Arm movement too long, repetitive arm movement all causes major pain for her. But honestly, she can use this thing, like the best of them. And she said, as weird as it sounds, this doesn't even hurt. Like she said, she goes, it feels good when I do that. She goes, sometimes she'll like literally go grab hers and just start doing that with nothing in it because it, it somehow relieves some of the pain. But that is my quick box opening. Um, if anybody has any questions about any Tupperware items, comment below message me um get a hold of me if there's any items that you want to see a demo on um like i said i'll probably do the micro grill um that thing is fantastic you can make anything like i said that thing you can make anything from a grilled cheese to a cobbler in it in your microwave love that thing um i know i'm going to do a video with that i don't know what i'm going to make with it yet though um I also, like I said, I have the pressure cooker now. I have the micro steamer. I have the micro stack cooker. Um, so if anybody has any questions, just let me know. And I will see you all later. Bye.